Hello to the Forbidden Worlds Film Festival audience in Bristol. This is uh, Guillermo del Toro, and uh, I'm welcoming you to the director's cut of Mimic. You know, it, it, it's not exactly the movie I wanted, but it's closer to it. There was a lot of uh, bullshit that uh, Miramax uh, added to it or made me shoot little things. Uh, some of it with a second unit. Uh, Mimic is the only movie in my life where I used second unit. I have never used it again. I either splinter the units and shoot the stuff myself or I shoot it with first unit. I hated it because uh, it's very hard to make it look uh, like the same film. So little snippets uh, were added. Now they're out of the director's cut, most of them. There's a little bit left. Uh, like you're going to be looking at one shot and that second unit and the reverse is me. Uh, it's a little crazy, but we survived that experience. Uh, I really never got the ending I wanted, but uh, it was a, a lot darker and a lot uh, more philosophical. Uh, they wanted to do Alien 4 and I wanted to do Mimic. So I didn't want anything to do with Alien. So we ended up with Alien three and a half, I guess, in some respects. Uh, but uh, the cut you're gonna see is much more to my liking. Uh, it adds beats that were out and took out beats that I didn't ever want it in. And uh, I hope you enjoy it a little more. I still am very proud of the movie. Visually is one of the movies that established the way I uh, design and uh, it established the sort of cyan and gold pattern that I like and favor to this day. And uh, there are set pieces that are, for me, incredible. When the creature takes, uh, well, I, spoilers ahead, cover your ears. The taking of uh, the character on the platform is one of my favorite things I ever shot. The attack on the subway car, which is entirely uh, done by first unit, is beautiful. And, uh, and I think it's one of the proudest things uh, I've ever made. And there are a couple of chilling moments. <coughs> the necklace under the locker room, etc., etc. Pretty good atmosphere. Uh, I hope you enjoy it.